Unfortunately, they never. I just would like an easy one. Uh, you one are, of these days. You are super. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you yeah, so every much. Every time it gets harder. Hey, thank how are you? you so much. Cheers, man. Yeah, oh good to see you. Gosh. No limit. Thank you. Cheers. Good luck. <laughs> see you, Saint George. Yes, of course. Thank you, Ellen. Sorry, I mean that's the best I could do. <laughs> <laughs> I should prepare for a picture. That's my best. Yeah, baby, and I was watching you. So, <laughs> you and your husband, high school sweetheart. How is it?
final win. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just give it up for our next athlete coming through first. We'll get right back to you here. Let's hear an ocean side. Seventh place, Sam Appleton. So when we, when we looked at uh, the run splits early on in the uh, the race, you were just chipping away at Alistair Brownlee, who was holding the lead for such a long time. But you were smoking out there. Yeah, I biked early, and so I knew I was going to have to run really, really well. So I stayed on top of my nutrition on the run, and then I just I knew that if you pull any time back on the first half, you pull double that back on the second half. And so I just plugged away at it, and uh, big hats off to Jack. I mean, he's been working for a long time. I came up with him many, many years now, and uh, he deserves all of this, and uh, he's, he's, he's one to watch for sure for the future. Yeah, he's very emotional over there right now, not only for his victory, but for you too. You can see how tight you guys are. Lionel, when you got off the, actually got out of the swim, was at 220, you went to about 150 on the bike early, dropped back to about 240, then when you got onto the run, it came down very, very quickly. Get it up to you, Eric. Eric Lagerstown, eighth place, well done, Diggy. Lionel, did you know how fast you were running there in the early stages, and could you tell that you were taking time out of our leaders? I don't think I was really taking any time for the first 5K or so. And you should check your watch later. <laughs> I don't like running on a watch. I like the purity of of just running by feel, but uh, like I said, I mean, I had some, some issues on the bike, and uh, it sucked, and I knew that I was going to have to run well if I wanted to have a chance, and so that became my game plan, and that's probably one of my best runs, so that's all I can say. Sure, mate, you were, you were smoking out there today. Well done, Lionel Sanders in second place today. Unofficially, I'm going to get those official results coming right up here pretty soon. Second place, Lionel Sanders in the Athletic Brewing. 
2022 Ironman 70.3 oh, Rudy Van Berg, man, Rudy, what a great way to Von Berg, what a great way to finish the race today. You and Lionel coming down there. Lionel came from behind. He was absolutely smoking that you were up there at the early going. It could have gone either way. Honestly, I can't believe he caught me there again because I was keeping a really solid pace. I felt for sure I had the podium locked in. He wasn't really catching much at all in the first loop. Even the second loop, he got just a tiny bit. And then at the end, I passed Alistair, so I was super stoked to get second. Hang on one second, when I heard Lionel was back there just with, what, 150 meters to go, I really couldn't believe it. I was like, come on, now I have to go even harder. And I've been already pushing it so hard for less, I mean, the whole run really, but I was really trying to pass Alistair. And I went the hardest I could, the whole straight, side by side for the Lionel. And uh, it looks like maybe he got me by a tiny bit. A little disappointing, but... Good job, Rudy. Good job, Rudy. Good job. Rudy, we're going to get a pick. Here, guys. Podium finished last year at 70.3 World Championships. Olympic silver medal and today, possibly one of the greatest victories of your career. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about your race. You were fantastic in the swim. Had a great swim out there in the lead group. But on the bike, you accelerated away from the competition. Yes, the swim was awesome. The bike, I wasn't sure of the course entirely, so it was really nice to, it was really well marked, so thank you to everyone who put it, all the markings out there, and I'm shocked by the run, although the last 5k felt very long, it felt longer than 5k. <laughs> For the 24 years of Asian 9-man 70.3 three race leading in front of people like Paula Finlay, the defending champion, Holly Lawrence, and Louisa Baptista, and Danielle Reef, the nine-time world champion, you must have felt a little bit of pressure coming from behind. Well, yes and no. I was just trying to execute my race and see what happened on the day. It's fun to race. It's fun to see where I am coming off of the winter. I know there's still a long season ahead of us. I mean, 70 Country Worlds is only October 28th. So this is a good hit out, and then I'm going to switch to short course for a little bit. Okay, well, congratulations. And ladies and gentlemen watching out there on Outside TV, Brazil, let's welcome in Ashley Gentle in fourth place from Australia right now. Well done to you, Ashley. As we get Louisa, Louisa coming off a, a great Olympics last year in Tokyo. We knew that you were a great swimmer. I've been watching you for years, but this was better than what you expected. Yeah, I'm really nice happy job. with the race. I could execute very well the three, three sports. And I'm really happy for this, for execute a uh, good now, race today. And I hope to continue like this. Yeah. It was fantastic. You were keeping a little bit of distance there to uh, you know, Taylor in the first part of the bike. She got away a little bit in the second part, but you came back on the run. Did you think you had a chance on the last part of the run? Yeah, I think I could try. Uh, but Taylor was really well. And uh, she opened a lot on the bike. She's a strong rider. And in the run she could execute very well. So uh, I knew I had to control my race and uh, do my best. To arrive as close as I could, and I'm really happy for that. Well done, and say obrigado to the people in uh, Brazil. Obrigado e vai Brasil! Another great day. It's early season. You had a fantastic swim. Your bike was solid, and the run too. You must be very, very proud of yourself. Yeah. Um, you know, coming into this, I really wasn't sure uh, where my form was been because I, I feel like I'd just come out of winter training, and I thought it was pretty early to be racing. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed for that. Obviously, like I want to, you know, get a lot faster as the season progresses, and I'm really chuffed with my run, especially because I've just been doing like long tempo runs and not doing any speed yet. So, yeah, I feel really promising for the rest of the season. But yeah, kudos to these girls. Like. One girl was on a road bike, I'm like, man, this is the future. We all have to step up our game. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Well, you came from the Olympic distance as well, and Taylor Nip, you know, Olympic silver medalist in the mixed relay, Louisa Bautista, you know, one of those phenomenal swimmers out there, you know, in ITU, uh, you know, short uh, distance racing. But you're the lady with the experience, but it was great to be in the same race, and you finished ahead of the defending champion and also Daniela Reef, the nine time IMA world champion. Yeah, yeah, pretty tough, but yeah, I mean, you're always looking to be, you know, what's ever in front of you and not focusing on what's behind, so yeah.
All right, well, give it up for Holy Lawrence for Great Britain. She's in third place. Different names to justify the ownership. Rules are still the same. Chances we don't get, but still we show love to everyone that shows respect. At the river is where they used to trade. Our ancestors, how can we not relate? The story goes so deep. Not looking for revenge, looking for solutions to the day that we'll smile again. As I went down in the Change. No more others you should blame That's the price you gotta pay for peace 